given two matrices A and B, how would you find AB and BA? Remember, matrices are not commutative. A multiplied by B may or may not equal B multiplied by A. Let's find AB first. Before we multiply, we need to check if they are compatible or not. Only if they are compatible, we multiply them, else we can't. How did we check for the compatibility? We found the order of each matrix and checked if the second and the third numbers are equal. If yes, then they were compatible, else they were not. What is the order of the first matrix? It has two rows and two columns. Two by two. And what's the order of the second one? Two rows and three columns. Two by three. The second and the third numbers are equal. It means that the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second. This tells us that the two matrices are compatible for multiplication. But as discussed in the previous session, we could have just counted the number of columns of the first matrix and compared it to the number of rows of the second. Why is it a better idea to find the orders of the matrices? It's because this also gives us the order of the resulting product. The first number is 2 and the fourth number is 3. This will be the order of the resulting product, 2 by 3. Now you know why finding the order of each is better. They not only tell us the compatibility, but also the order of the resulting product. We zoom out and find the product AB. We know that its order is 2 by 3, 2 rows and 3 columns. We need to find the elements in these 6 positions. Let me tell you the best way to multiply these two matrices. We take the first row of the first matrix and multiply it with each of the columns of the second matrix one by one. And then we do the same with the second row and so on. Solving it will give us a better idea. What will be the one one -th element of the resulting product? It will be the first row of the first matrix multiplied by the first column of the second. It will be 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1. We multiply this number with this one and then this one with this. We have multiplied the first row with the first column. Now for the 1 2 -th element, we multiply the first row with the second column. We get 1 times 2 plus 2 times minus 1. This sum will be the 1 2 -th element. For the 1 3 -th element of the resulting product, we multiply the first row with the third column. We get 1 multiplied by 0 plus 2 multiplied by 3. We are done with the first row. We have multiplied it with each of the columns of the second matrix. There are three more elements we need to find. To find the element in the 2 1 -th position, we multiply the second row with the first column. We get minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 0 multiplied by 1. Why don't you try finding the elements in these two positions? Pause the video and give it a shot. For the 2 2 -th element, we multiply the second row with the second column to get this. And for the 2 3 -th element, we multiply the second row with the third column to get this. It's quite easy to remember. 1 1 -th, first row, first column. 1 2 -th, first row, second column. 1 3 -th, first row, third column. And so on. This was the part we had to understand well. The rest is just plain simple calculation. Let's see what we get as the product. This will be 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus minus 2 will be 0. 0 plus 6 will equal 6. Minus 1 plus 0 will equal minus 1. Minus 2 plus 0 will equal minus 2. And 0 plus 0 will equal 0. 2 rows, 3 columns. The order is 2 by 3 the first and the fourth number. Now let's try finding BA. Here B is the first matrix and A is the second one. Let's first see if they are compatible for multiplication. We find their orders. The order of B is 2 by 3 
and the order of matrix A is 2 by 2. The second and the third numbers are not equal. Hence these two matrices are not compatible for multiplication. <laughs>